Good morning. We are in day three of our fast today of seven days. If you are just joining us today or halfway through the fast, feel free to go back and watch video one and two for instructions on how to follow along on our church app. But with that being said, today's topic that we're fasting for is for the leaders of the church and the church congregation as a whole. Why are we fasting for our leaders? Why are we fasting for our church? Well, in 1 Timothy 4.12, the Apostle Paul is instructing his spiritual son, Timothy, and he's talking to him about being an example to the believers. But as we walk with Christ, we don't just want to be an example to those in Christ, but those who are far off that we want and desire deeply to meet with the Lord. And so the Apostle Paul gives six different places where we're to be an example. The first one is our speech. The second is our conduct. The third is love. The fourth is faith. The fifth is our spirit or our attitude. And the last one is purity. And so pray for leaders because leaders are people. Pray that our church becomes a shining example in these areas of who Jesus is. It's not necessarily that people do not like Christ or don't want to associate with Christ. It's that they've seen such a misrepresentation of who he is that they don't even know if they want to be a part of what was misrepresented. So as we strive daily to walk with God and grow and to become who God has called us to be, pray for yourselves, pray for the church, pray for your leadership, that we can continue to shine the light of Christ authentically and be transformed from the inside out, not just quickly modifying our behavior to win people over to Christ. We want to be real. We want to be authentic. We want to walk like Jesus.